The scientific revolution has taken astronomers down a long path of knowledge to ultimately studying objects which are so distant that if we were to travel to them using our current technology, we would not reach them in our lifetime. But how can we obtain so much knowledge on astronomical objects that we will never see up close? The answer? Astronomical instruments. The word instrument is commonly associated with music. However, instruments in science are defined as tools used to assist a scientist in advancing their research. In astronomy, the instrument is a piece of technology that is used in conjunction with a telescope to collect astronomical data. The combination of telescopes and astronomical instruments has enabled astronomers to see objects that could not have been studied in detail or even seen with the naked eye. For example, when you look up at the night sky, you can see Mercury through to Saturn without using a telescope. However, with our eyes, these planets look like stars, and there is no way to determine that Mars has polar caps, or that Saturn is bounded by an intricate system of rings formed by ice and rock. Although much larger than Earth, Uranus is difficult to detect with the naked eye, while Neptune cannot be seen without a telescope. In fact, before the telescope, humanity was at a consensus that we were at the centre of the universe and had no concept of galaxies, the expanding universe, or the scale of the cosmos. A telescope has many instruments built in, which may vary depending on the type of telescope. The primary instrument used in modern telescopes is a camera. Before cameras were incorporated into telescopes, objects that were observed had to be drawn by hand, which could take several nights to complete. M51, more commonly known as the Whirlpool Galaxy, can be seen here as a sketch by Charles Messier, compared to two photos taken by the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. The left image is M51, while the right is NGC 5750. The lack of colours in Messier's sketch highlights the importance of cameras in astronomy, with colours being an important tool in understanding the properties of a galaxy, such as its different structural components, the age of its stars, and how many stars it is currently forming. Once cameras were incorporated into telescopes, they initially worked using photographic plates, but more recently, astronomers developed charge coupled devices, or CCDs. These are similar to the ones used in your digital camera right now. CCDs are very important instruments, being used in astronomy to observe very faint objects over a long period of time. The Hubble Field image is an impressive example of this. This long exposure image represents a single patch of sky that appears empty to the human eye, even when looking through a typical telescope. By adding up the photons detected by the CCD in the Hubble Space Telescope, we can see thousands of galaxies. Another impressive instrument is a spectrograph, which is an excellent instrument that collects data on chemical composition of an object. Each object in the universe will have a unique spectra associated to it, like a fingerprint. When observed through an optical telescope, spectra will consist of the visible spectrum, but there will be dark gaps in particular places. These gaps are associated with electrons in an element that got excited when the light touched it. This causes the light to be absorbed by electrons in that element, thus allowing the electron to move to a new energy level. Each element will always have the absorption occur in the same areas of the spectrum, so by looking at an object's spectrum, such as the Sun, we can decipher what elements are present and by how much. For analysing extended objects in one image, such as nebula or galaxies, astronomers use integral field units, or IFUs, through integral field spectroscopy, which records the spectrum for every pixel, creating a 3D image. The AAO specialises in observing with many different spectrographs, with the Anglo-Australian Telescope alone currently using five. However, depending on the objects being observed and the telescope, there are many more instruments that assist astronomers in collecting data. The last instrument I will mention is one of the most important in modern astronomy, which is computers. Modern astronomers do not observe objects with our eyes, nor do we write down what we see. Instead, astronomers will have computers that will collect and record data received by the telescope, enabling objects to be studied in more detail than ever before. Information is collected per pixel, resulting in so much data that it can take months for astronomers to analyse it all in detail. Although there is still so much that we don't know about our universe, it is a calming thought to know that engineers and scientists, like those at the AAO, 
are working hard to update and create instruments that assist us in the pursuit of knowledge and ultimately help us understand a little bit more about the mystery that is our universe.